and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, where tickling the keys is totally acceptable. And that's a good thing, because when we took off to Texarkana, we weren't sure what we'd find. Turns out, this town has an incredible connection to some of the most iconic American music. Chances are, you've heard this too which has roots right here in the Lone Star State. The Entertainer is one of 44 original ragtime pieces penned by Scott Joplin, a composer born in Texarkana in 1868. Playing this tune is not easy. There you go. <laughs> Howard Gustafson III is a piano technician and owner of the Raglan Piano Company in downtown Texarkana. And he may not have Joplin's song down pat, but he understands the legacy Joplin left behind. Scott Joplin gave us an entire genre of music that crosses racial barriers, age barriers, time barriers. It's wide appeal. So certainly being a part of his formative years, uh, Texarkana can lay claim to, to uh, bring in the world uh, that style of music. Fitting we'd find Howard in this old piano store, doing things with pianos Joplin would never believe. And I'm not talking about playing the Maple Leaf Rag over 100 years after his death. What's crazy about Howard's piano pursuit there's no strings attached. It's kind of interesting what we do here is kind of two extremes, you know, 100-year-old technology, cutting-edge technology. Very little in the middle. 90% of Howard's business at the Raglan Piano Store doesn't involve tuning or tightening strings, but rather replacing them altogether. Here's an example of a high-end digital mechanism that we'll incorporate in some of our custom builds. Oh, so you put this in an actual wooden piano? Yeah, yeah this, this will actually be put inside a piano shell, whether an upright or a, uh, or a grand piano. We went through this phase where we're like, we have all these pianos nobody wants, let's make other stuff out of them. And that has transitioned into, hey, we can still make them musical instruments. So now let's repurpose them as digitals. Hitting the right note doesn't take precise measurements with ears anymore. And that's a good thing for Howard. I tell people, and you see me shuffling around right here, I can't really sit still long enough to tune a piano. I have to be taking something apart or putting something together. This is somewhat new to this piano technician that got his start with his father back in 1985. There's always been piano players in the family, instrument players in the family. Uh, my father, though, is probably most responsible for me being a piano technician today because we took the family piano apart. He had an interest in how pianos worked. And so I helped him do that. We vacuumed it out, kind of peeked inside of it, found some old coins in the, uh, uh, underneath the keys. Between what I learned with him in the shop behind the house for a dollar an hour, I kid you not, kind of built the foundation to, to move to Texarkana and then open a piano store. Howard honed his ability to repair pianos because for him, it wasn't too terribly tough. One real benefit of working on pianos is if you know how to fix one note, you can fix the other 87. But playing the instrument was a whole other ball game. His parents weren't sure it was the right path for Howard, so he started teaching himself and you'll never guess the first piece he picked up. First song I ever learned was by Scott Joplin. As a 14-year-old kid wanting to learn piano lessons to convince his parents, I picked up a book of the collected works of Scott Joplin, picked out a song and played it. That's in Memphis, Tennessee, 300 miles away. I had no idea what Texarkana was. So over the summer, I learned how to play the first part of Scott Joplin's entertainer. I had enough musical knowledge that I would count up the staff and say, okay, that's an A, and I'd put my finger on the A. I'd count and find the next note, and I would learn what chord that was. And then I'd just progress through the first movement or two of the entertainer. That persuaded my parents to let me take piano lessons and get some degree of education, which of course has benefits me today. The only difference is the digital piano. So you want a little Scott Joplin to go with that? You know it. I'll see, man. This may be five or six takes. You may run out of battery. <laughs> That sounded like it was it. a real piano. <laughs> the legacy that Joplin left behind and Howard's love for music 
push him to keep his hankering for harmony and a plea to parents to never let your children refrain themselves from learning a refrain. That's where part of the music business has gone, is parents don't give them that little nudge and say, yeah, you're gonna take a year of piano lessons. We're all like letting little Johnny and little Susie pick out what they, you know, what they want to do. Oh, we don't want to crowd them any. People need to encourage their children to take a step that's uncomfortable, uh, and they're gonna expand their boundaries. And music is, is part of that. And this piano man practices what he preaches by passing along his passion to his three boys. They are actually in college, did not cost dad one penny Thank you, boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to feel good. Yeah. Oh, does it feel good? No kidding. When I would drop them off at their mom's house and I'd be getting their instruments out of the car, I would hand one of them an instrument. I'd say, what is this? The proper answer was not my trombone or my saxophone. The proper answer was my ticket to college. <laughs> and it worked. Music has some real benefits, and piano was the foundation for that for them. So Howard keeps plugging away on the pianos with the knowledge that history and technology are behind him. Anytime a family comes in and they're buying a child a starter instrument, I think somebody showed Scott Joplin his first piano. What if that had never happened? Arguably, would we have jazz? Because that's, that's kind of a derivative from ragtime. I'm very conscious of what I'm part of. It's an honor to be part of that progression in that person's life and their musical journey. Thank you.